It, now, is this blocking your view? <laughs> I am so glad to be back in Winnipeg. I really admire you women that live here in the cold because it, you're very brave because you're outside, it's freezing cold, you go inside, it's nice and warm. Then you go outside and it's freezing cold, you come inside and it's nice and warm. Then you go outside and get in the car, it's nice and warm, and then you get out and it's freezing cold. I got here Thursday, my nipples are exhausted. <laughs> Where are those hot flashes when you need them? <laughs> my hot flashes were so bad, for a while I thought global warming was my fault. <laughs> Al Gore followed me for three days. <laughs> so I went to the doctor and he said, you're going through the change of life. Change of life. Girls, remember when you went through puberty, they told you you were becoming a woman? You go through the change of life, they don't tell you what you're becoming. <laughs> I'm becoming my father. And it seems to me that something is always needing replacing, repairing, or rotated. It's awful. When I get home, I have to go to the gynecologist. I hate that. Primarily because I have to shave my legs. <laughs> Last time I shaved my legs, I lost seven pounds. <laughs> it had really gotten bad. It was shave, braid, or move to Italy. It's a horrible exam and why do I have to have it done? I had everything removed. I'm empty, I'm hollow. What's he looking for? Bits of jewelry, old boyfriends? Jimmy Hoffa? You go into the office and you lay down on a table lined with butcher paper. Butcher paper. And you put your feet in stirrups. I've had my feet in more stirrups than John Wayne. <laughs> and my doctor has puppets on the stirrups. Big green frog puppets with big bulging eyes. And they're looking right at the lily pad. You lay there, then the nurse comes in, and she says, scoot down. Am I right? Yeah. Scoot, scoot, till you're bent like a pretzel. <laughs> and then what does she do? She leaves you there <laughs> to wait for the doctor to get his implements out of the refrigerator. <laughs> One of which looks like those things my grandfather used to put in his shoes. <laughs> And while you're laying there all scrunched up, you have a decision to make. Do you fart now and sink up the room? Or do you wait and fart in his face? He chose the job. Finally, the doctor comes in. Yes, he rolls up on that little stool. He's got on the miner's helmet, the canary. <laughs> the bird's looking peaked. And he starts to chat. What is that all about? I, it just amazes me. I can't understand what he's saying because of the echo. I finally figured out what he was saying. He said, how old a woman are you, Miss? <laughs> oh my 
going, oh, that was funny. <laughs> I said, well, I'm in my, my mid-50s, I'm 63. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> he said, read my lips. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me back.